Hey guys, Sword here, and this is going to be a video with Minecraft Xbox 360. Well, to be spe specific, I can never pronounce that right the first time, it is Father's Day. So happy Father's Day to everyone, to all the fathers out there, and as well as the fathers soon to be. And let's see where I could go from here. Well, first of all, what did you guys get your father for Father's Day? My mother got him a card and I gave him $60 and gave him a hug and we were good because I honestly forgot it was Father's Day. But at least I still had money so it was good. I was able to give my father $60 so that he could spend on anything that he wants. And personally, I prefer to get cash over gifts or presents. Depending on what the gift is, of course, but you just never know. It's kind of like a Russian roulette on that one because if you get a bad gift, it's kind of awkward to ask him, can I have the receipts? Because it just shows them that you appreciate it, but you don't want it, in all honestly, honesty. So, yeah. Remember those birthday parties where people buy you gifts and then you just don't use them because you don't want it? Yeah, we all been there. But it's still awkward, and we still have to say thank you for the gift regardless. But deep down inside, it's like, why did they give me this? But hey, we all been there. So it was good to actually give him cash so that he could buy anything that he wants with the $60. There's no limit to what he could buy. Or at least he's able to use $60 and then he can pay off wherever the rest with it. It's just, it's good. It's all good. Moving on from here. So, here's a question for you guys. What do you guys appreciate for your father? If that makes sense. I'm having trouble here. I'm drawing a blank. Uh, what do you appreciate about your father? There we go. That's a better question. So, let's see if we can think of all the positivity or all the positive, all the positiveness. Is that a word? We'll make it a word. Let's go think of the positive things about your fathers. I know that everyone doesn't have a perfect father, but let's see if we can think about the positives here. So, for my father, pretty much he is always there for me. He is supportive of everything that I do, and as well as that, he ch tells me straight up, and as well as he gives me multiple reality checks. And at times, it does give me in a bad mood because of how he presents it, but at the same time, it's a reality check, and in the end, he is right. So yeah, usually it goes off with, what, is, what are you doing with your life, or if you keep going with this habit, you're going to end up like this and it's going to be bad for you. Again, my father is always right because he's lived for a long, long time in this world and, again, he's always right because he, sh he should know by his experiences as well because with his friends and their bad habits, that is how they ended up with and he doesn't want to see me end up the same way as his friends. And usually my f father is the one that always tells them of, like, how bad their habits are and how they're going to end up, but they don't listen to him, and then, what do you know, they ended up badly. So, yeah, I could take my father's word. I almost, I almost stumbled here. I could take my father's word on whatever he says, based on the experience that he has been dealt with and how he has grown up. My father, honestly, he used to be a smoker and a drinker when he was younger. So he could honestly tell me how bad smoking is, but for me, I'm not going to smoke and I'm not going to drink because I already have a disease that my father had gone and now he's over it and it was a good thing too. Well, something fell. So what that was is that my father had polycystic kidney disease. What that means is that there's multiple cysts growing in the kidneys and it's hereditary, so I have it. So yeah, I gotta take better care of myself. But still, this is about my father, and it'll go back to me. My father had polycystic, polycystic kidney disease pretty much all his life, but he was never diagnosed with it because they didn't know about it back then, and they, there was no tall tale symptoms about it. And what set it off is that my father actually fainted in the bathroom. He didn't have a concussion, he just fainted in the bathroom, and there may be, I think there was a bruise there, but he didn't hit his head, which we were grateful for that, and that was pretty much what set it off, and then we had him tested, and then it came back that he had polycystic kidney disease. So it was a good thing that he fainted. 
Honestly, there's no other way of saying it. If he would have not fainted, then we would have never known. And then things would have probably been different by now. And that was like five years ago. Or was it four? I don't remember really. But still, let's continue on from here. Is that he was diagnosed with polycystic kidney disease. And then they he had to get a brand new kidney because of how bad it was. He was still able to carry on with the kidneys that he had. But again, he had to get new kidneys because eventually things will go bad. So I had my blood tested. My mother had her blood tested. And we were able to give her, give them our kidneys. But the problem is, I had polycystic kidney, kidney disease as well. So it would have been redundant to give him my kidney if he was just going to be back to square one. So ultimately, he was able to have his best friend to give him his kidney. So now both of them have one kidney. In an operation, that was a bad time for me. Because I actually been a little bit depressed. Because... My mother and my father were gone from the house for about a good month or two and pretty much left me by myself. I had money to support myself and as well as his friends came by time and time again like once in a while to check up on us and help us out going to the store and getting us stuff. So it was good. But still I was kind of I was I was in a depressive mood because I actually I was worried about what would happen to my father if he were to be gone the next day because at that point I actually feared that he was gonna he was gonna pass away so that brought me in a depressive mood and at that time I was in college still in the fall semester and that brought my grades down because I couldn't think I just I just didn't want to go on through the day because of it so yeah a little bit deep here but that's how much I care for my father but in the end he actually persevered and He's healthy now. He's been taking better care of himself. Pretty much when he t when they took out his kidneys, I'm not too sure if they were 10 pounds each or it was a total of 10 pounds, but he pretty much lost 10 pounds after the operation just based on just solely on removing his older kidneys cuz that's how much they have swollen so bad and how much large they have gotten. So, yeah. It's just um, it's just I thank God for that. I pray for him every single day, and he's gone stronger, he's gone better, and of course, he's been remaining healthy for a long while. And now, pretty much, again, I have polycystic kidney disease, I gotta take care of better myself, take better care of myself, so that I will not end up getting an operation as well. It's a long road ahead of me, but still... <laughs> Knowing myself, I cannot stay away from the soda. I cannot stay away from the junk food. But as long as that I do not drink and smoke, I should be relatively okay. I still got to remain. I got to eat healthy every now and then. But still, just as long as I don't go into bad habits, I'll be okay. So yeah, I appreciate my father for always being there with me. For always answering my question. And as well as for always giving me life lessons. So yeah, we got a little bit deep here, but it's all good. It's all good. I got to let this out because eventually I'm going to let it out one way or another. And from here, I'll be able to let it out. All right. So let me see. I got another question. Since not everyone has the same Father's Day like Mother's Day, because when I made Mother's Day, people said that Mother's Day has already passed. It's coming up in two weeks or it's been a long time gone deal where that it's been a month since it's passed so for father's day when is father's day if you live in a different country and as well as that what does father's day mean to that culture because some cultures they're different when it when it comes to pretty much celebrating a day so there we have it we're going to learn more about other people's countries as well as culture and heritage all right we learn more every single day all right, so there we have it. Ha! I know I was gonna, I was gonna say something else, but I just don't remember what it was. But either way, everything's good. My father's healthy. My father's happy, and as well as that, pretty much, he's been a great teacher, a great coach, a great father, and a great friend. So I appreciate my father, and I pray for him that he lives on to be the oldest that he can get. And hopefully that 
in my health that I will not have to end up getting a kidney transplant because yeah I've seen what happened that pretty much he has to stay away from the sun and as well as that he has to take a lot of pills every single day but again he's healthy and that's what matters and he's gonna live longer now because of the operation alright so that's the end of this video so happy Father's Day to everyone to every father every father soon to be and this is the end of this video so there's something else for me to say but of course with this ending have a nice day everybody I'm Sorkin090 and as always I'll see you in the next video